streets. It's a buttermilk chocolate with something. I forgot what they said. I've never had this one. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to cry. I think this whole week I'm going to be saying, oh my God, a lot. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. Treats. Blue Star Donuts. Amazing treats. from the Midwest. <laughs> I've had a lot of brats in my life. This is one of the most superior brats I've had. Sauerkraut, mustard, those good stuff in the french fries are delicious with aioli, garlic. I'm in, I'm in treat heaven. What's this week gonna be like? Oh my god. <laughs> Everybody. Everyone on this planet should have treats that we live in a world where people don't have treats, where this is an exception, not the rule. And not everyone could have treats like this if we look at the world and its sustainability and the fact that we're in overshoot. We couldn't have this. Not everyone could have this regularly, at least. Beer, German beer. I mean, my people do know how to make some good things. We have a lot of difficulty, but we do know how to make some good food sometimes. Treats, treats make life easier. <laughs> treats make life worth living. If you evolve a treat with me, I will do pretty much whatever you want me to do. It is the way it is. I love treats. I'm very treat motivated. I'm like a pup that way. Or bear. I'm a bear that way. I am a bear. Olympia Provisions. Man, you know how to do sausages and good food. To all my wonderful friends and especially my patrons. Cheers. treat salt and straw ice cream oh I remember when they first opened up a while ago now and I was bowled over we'll see if they still maintain their loveliness two flavors chocolate malted oh my god so love chocolate malted cookie dough Salty, incredibly creamy. That's the thing about salt and straw. Their texture's on point. Malty, cookie doughy, chocolatey goodness. The next one is one of their spring special flavors. It is rhubarb anise crumble. Oh my God. Rhubarb anise, anise, licorice <laughs> flavored stuff. <sighs> what a great treat day. What a great treat day. having that thing where I just want to eat and enjoy it. I don't want to, I don't know how people who do the food thing as a regular feature of their work, they're filming. I don't know how they do that because it distracts utterly. <laughs> it so distracts from the treat part of all this. Corichon. Corichon. Also, I know some people really like to watch people eat. I'm not one of those people. I don't like to watch people eat. 
so I don't want to watch myself eat. Now I'm just going to enjoy it, okay? Treat. I just finished the lovely cheese and crack offering that was truly scrumptious. It is one of my favorite things, my favorite treats to have cheese and crackers and olives and all the little things and the tablespoons filled with oh, honey and mustard and oh, I just love it. And I really had this moment realization that one, eating with other people is so lovely. That is a treat and I miss that out in the world because I don't really eat out in the world with humans so much anymore. Unless it's outside and not really much then. This treat of being by myself is indeed a treat and I miss sharing food with people that I love. That's such an extraordinary treat. I remember that Miss Nicole and I were at Cheese and Crack years ago when I lived here and we feasted and we laughed and we just enjoyed every morsel. So there's that. There's also the realization that this thing that I do, that content creators do of videoing and photographing and recording your experience, it totally takes away from the experience. There is a part of it that I feel like I'm sharing it with you. And that feels really good. And there's the big reality of that I am out of the present moment as I'm trying to get the right angle and the right light and the sound and all the things. That if I'm gonna have a treat to be distracted by all this kind of dampens the extraordinariness of the treat. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna continue doing this over the next couple days. I am, there'll be way more treats and I will be videoing those treats. What it does mean is that I think that this practice of, you know, do a couple shots, do some footage, and then let it go and enjoy and be present. Be present to the treat. That's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. Day two, delicious treats. Voiceover saying this is one of the best tacos I've ever had in my fucking life. Here we are on day five of treats. It's been an incredible week of deliciousness and textures and sounds and tastes and yums. So many yums. And today on Friday, everything that I planned, gone. I'm irritable, I'm cranky, and yet I want a treat to end this week. And so the treat that I'll be gifting to myself is spending time with my beloved friend and her luscious pup, Gracie. Every treat doesn't have to be pristinely attended to. And I think that by and large, slowing down, making space, being present for treats is good practice. What a delicious week. What a wonderful week to connect to Portland, to connect to the treats that I love, to connect to humans I love, and to connect to myself and give the bear, this bear cub, this fat, beautiful bear cub, give me treats. That has been lovely. We do this thing together. We do this thing together.